first one, if you guys notice, um, is I see that I have this whole expression, right? All of this expression is being raised to that fourth power. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to bring down that power. So if I bring down that power, I'll now have 4 times ln of 3y squared divided by the square root of x. All right. Now what you guys can see is I have division, right? I have an expression over another expression. So therefore, going back to my last property, if I have dividing inside an expression, I can break that up into log base b of x minus log base b of y. So when you have a division of a logarithm, you can now separate that into a subtraction problem. So I'm just going to take the expression in my numerator and subtract it from the expression in my denominator by breaking it up into two different logarithms. Now, when I break it up, though, you remember, this is always being multiplied by 4. So what I'm going to now include is a bracket. So once I include my bracket, now I have ln of 3y squared minus ln of the square root of x, end bracket. right? Because that 4 is being multiplied by everything. right? Just because I'm breaking this apart, that 4 is still being multiplied by everything or that 4 is being raised up to the power. Now, I look at this and I say, all right, and ins inside of here, I still have a multiplication. I can, mul I can simplify this further, right? I can break this up by using my multiplication. So therefore, I have 4 bracket ln of 3 plus ln of y squared minus ln of x square root of x. All right, and we're still not done. I'm just doing this step by step. You guys can probably combine a couple properties together. Because now we have the exponents, right? So now you, can know you, you know you can bring this 2 down. And then the square root of x. Does anybody remember what the square root of x is? Oh, I'm sorry. What the, square, what the square root of a number as an exponent is? Yes, sir? Let's go through it. From algebra 2, x to the a over b is equal to the b root of x to the a. Okay, So if you have the square root of x, square root means you're taking the second root of x to the first power, which means by rewriting it as a rational exponent is x to the 1 half. Okay? So if you forgot that, please make sure you write that down, because guess what? You're going to be doing a couple of those today. Okay? Um, so therefore, I can rewrite this as x to the 1 half. Now, I know that since I have exponents, Kyle, I bring them down in front. So my final answer is 4 ln of 3 plus 2 ln of y minus, L, oh, I'm sorry, minus 1 half ln of x. Yes. I just changed the square root of x to the x to the 1 half, so then I could bring it down in front. If you have an, uh, an ex a logarithm raised to power, you can bring it down in front as multiplication. All right. I'm just going to go over. I got